So the mass of the bundle, M, is equaling the weight over gravity, G. So this would be equaling to 449 newtons divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. And so this is giving us 45.8 kilograms. And so we can say that for part A, applying Newton's second law, we can say T minus mg equaling the mass times the acceleration. And here the acceleration would then be equaling to, it would be 387 Newtons minus 449 Newtons divided by the mass of 45.8 kilograms. And so this is giving us negative 1.4 meters per second squared. This would be our answer. Given that it's negative, it means that it's pointing downwards. Now, we can say that downwards. So we should say that this would be equal to the acceleration sub y. And then for part B, we can say that first delta x is being replaced by delta y, and this is equaling negative 6.1 meters. So we can then find, with the initial velocity equaling 0 meters per second, the magnitude of the final velocity would be equaling the square root of 2 times the acceleration times delta y. And so this would be equaling the square root of 2 multiplied by negative 1.35 meters per second squared multiplied by negative 6.1 meters and we find that then the magnitude of the final velocity is 4.1 meters per second. This would be our final answer. So we can say that for downward acceleration greater than 1.4 meters per second approximately, uh, the speeds at impact will be larger than approximately 4.1 meters per second. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.